Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining my live stream this evening. I wasn't planning actually to do a stream um, tonight, but I decided in light of uh, this story um, about the ISIS terrorist former officer on the government jet, member of the Defence Forces, um, I decided that it was probably important given the fact there's so much confusion, uh, I think intentionally being put out by the Irish media about this case. Uh, I thought I would try to make some sense of it um, because there's absolutely no doubt that the spin on this horrific story has already begun. Um, I just, on a personal level, am utterly disgusted to hear this. Um, this is something, as a journalist, that I have warned about through the years. Um, as far back as the, the 90s, I started writing about the presence of extreme Islam in Ireland. Um, I had the opportunity to get quite a lot of insights into radical mosques that were operating around the country. And this was 10, 15 years ago. Um, and all the while I knew that there was no monitoring going on because we have an inept and corrupt guard the force who could not police a teddy bear's picnic, not to mind the most barbaric terrorist organization in the world. Um, and I knew that this was coming. I knew it was coming. Uh, we heard a few weeks ago how ISIS had training camps in the Wicklow Mountains. People ridiculed, some people who are still asleep or who choose to turn the other way, ridiculed that idea. Couldn't be true. No, 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 not in Ireland. It is true. Um, it's just one of the many examples of ISIS being present in this state. And the reason they are here is because we are the softest touch in Europe. People have to start realizing this. Now I'm going to try and contain my emotions over this, um, but every Irish patriot today should feel utterly appalled and horrified that our citizenship is being abused by these people. And anyone who has the audacity to call you or me or anyone who speaks out about this a racist deserves to be stripped of their citizenship themselves. And if there are any trolls here tonight, shame on you. Most of you are fake. But people like me are sick and tired at this stage of watching our country being ripped to shreds. All across Europe, people are standing up, patriots are standing up and saying, we are not going to tolerate this anymore. Are the Irish gonna stay asleep and allow this to happen to their country? Are they going to, or are they going to follow the lead of the rest of the continent? Today, Again, we had the position of Varadkar on this as it was a few weeks ago when we heard that um, ISIS had been carrying out training in the Wicklow Mountains and um, a man with Irish citizenship had been caught in Syria. And at the time, Varadkar made it very clear that uh, it would be very unlikely that that person would have his citizenship removed. Today we have the same situation, the same situation. I'll read out some of his quotes. I know who should be stripped of his citizenship. Meanwhile, in Austria and Switzerland, um, in the last day or two, they have been saying that these people will not be allowed back in. This is going on in every single Western country in the world at the moment. It's a narrative. It's part of the globalist plan. It's all happening. It's not a coincidence that it's all happening, that we had the, 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 the ISIS bride, and I don't like to use that term, but that, that's how it has been coined, um, Shamima in the UK a few weeks ago, and then her baby dies, and then there's big outpouring of pity for her, uh, and now we have our own. Um, but this is all, it's all being put out um, 
in such a way as to try and lessen the impact uh, because these are women, they deserve sympathy, they deserve pity, uh, and they deserve a warm welcome home. I'm going to try and make some sense of this particular case. And uh, I mean, just looking at some of the Irish papers, I mean, the Irish Times at the moment, uh, we'll look at it uh, shortly, um, but I'm gonna go with the Telegraph for now because they seem to, the, tel the British press are actually telling uh, a lot more about this particular case than the Irish media, but that of course is to be expected. And I see that our former disgraced Taoiseach uh, was the first out of the traps to describe uh, this alleged terrorist as a lovely woman. So there we go. This is how it goes. This is how the narrative will go, be in no doubt.